We're here at Kanjingompa, there is Kang up above, but we're not going to climb it, there's been too much snow. Uh, there's been lots more fresh snow overnight. Uh, the porters can't get up to the pass, there's going to be a lot of a lot of trail breaking and uh, probably a bit of an avalanche risk on that slope as well. So, so we've decided to go up valley and do some exploring up the valley instead. So we have six days of camping left. Uh, and it's a nice day today. There's been lots of fresh snow, but hopefully it will be nice weather today. Tar grazing on the slopes. Sakaka and that is behind and with Gombu and Adita behind that is Naya Kang. It looks impossible from here. Uh, but we have pitched the campsite about an hour and a half back. We're going to stay two days and we think tomorrow we'll go up that valley which and try and try that little peak there. We don't know what it's gonna be like but give it a go. Now I thought that was the route up to Tillman's Pass, but Gombu tells me it isn't. Uh, I'm slightly confused about the geography. Uh, that may or may not be Langshisa Ri. Gombu says it is, I think it's the one on the right, but he's probably more likely to be right. And he also says the trail coming up before it is the one up to Tillman's Pass. Um, and then there's a huge snow mountain there. Uh, I'm going to look up in the map. So, because I haven't got the map here, I'm a bit confused about the geography. Uh, but. It's a beautiful setting and we found a lovely campsite uh, and we're going to stay two days, two nights uh, and just explore around a bit. It's a fantastic, fantastic alternative to going up Naya Kang which, given the snow conditions we had last night, uh, would be too dangerous. So with the, with the help of a map, we've been able to resolve some of the geography here. So this is, we're in a lovely campsite, lovely campsite called Chadang, surrounded, surrounded by mountain walls. Um, and we walked, not to Langshi Sakaka, but to a, a place called Numthang, uh, just down there. That mountain at the end of the valley, uh, one with two peaks, that is Langshisari. And to its left, um, the big snow mountain that from Numthang looked like the south face of Aconcagua is, oh, I've forgotten the name of it, Pemthang, Re, Pemthang something or other. Um, that one, there's a Dita there with some tea. That one above her is Ganchempo fluted one um, and we're going to go up that valley just in front so there's a side valley there and we're going to try and climb this peak from the back called Jishambu Ri. It's going to be a long day but it'll be nice. Uh, this peak has got another name in Tibetan which I can't remember um, and then I don't know whether you can see that because it's right in the sun but that's Naya Kang which looks very difficult from here and we've come up that way from Kanjingompa 
and it's beautiful. What a fantastic, fantastic setting for a campsite. So we're going to spend two nights here and a long day tomorrow, try and get up this, it's about 5,200 meters little peak. So Mark, what's going on here? <laughs> uh -huh. We trekked, um, we trekked up to Langshisa Kalka at the foot of the glacier, snout of the glacier up there, just beneath that peak. Uh, it's about an hour and a half to walk from here and we came back and these guys had set up camp for us so it's so nice here, uh, it's so nice here we're going to um, stay a couple of nights I think and up there is Naya Kang which we um, were intending to climb but there's a lot of snow up there now so we're probably going to go up that side valley today, tomorrow towards the over there Perfect. <laughs> and here we are having picnic. Yeah. How is it going? Where, what are you doing here? Oh my goodness! Are you one of crazies? <coughs> oh, this is the bridge that we came down. You can see crazy, crazy people. It was lots of fun. Now here we're going under. Um. 